Drawings SDK is our industry leading toolkit for DWG and DGN. ODA members use Drawings SDK for a wide range of solutions, from simple data extractors to full featured CAD editors. We support comprehensive two way conversion between DWG and DGN. This year, we've been working on several major new features, including model documentation, constraints engine integration, trace functionality, and more. For the client. Model documentation is a new feature that supports the creation of smart drawings views. These smart views are automatically updated when you make changes to the underlying 3D model. In past years, We've implemented support for the view base, view projected, view section, view detail, and view edit commands. This functionality is based on ODA solid modular, with no dependencies on any third party technologies. This year, our model documentation development is focused on saving these smart views to DWG in a way that is fully compatible with AutoCAD. It's a complex task because AutoCAD uses Inventor to process model documentation views and saves Inventor data to DWG to support this feature. So we've had to implement a subset of Inventor support within Drawings SDK. We've made significant progress with this task. The latest Drawings SDK can create base and projected views that can be read and correctly recalculated by AutoCAD and we are currently working on full compatibility for detail and section views. There are two types of constraints in DWG, geometric and dimensional. Geometric constraints define the position of one entity relative to another, and several types of constraint are supported – coincident, perpendicular, concentric, horizontal, tangent, and others. Dimensional constraints define the distance or angle between two entities. Move under constraint is the functionality that is applied when a constrained entity is modified. Modifying or transforming a constrained entity will cause appropriate changes to be automatically applied to other entities that are constrained along with the original entity. The latest drawings SDK implements support for DWG constraints and move under constraints functionality using the new ODA constraint solver. This feature is currently in beta and will be available for production use by the end of the year. We've implemented new parasolid creation functionality within our BRAP Builder component. It supports the export of BRAP data, including colors and materials, to Parasolid XT version 9 and 12 for inclusion in DGN files. So, ODA BRAP conversion technology now supports creation of BRAPs from Revit, PRC, S is embedded to DWG and Parasolid embedded to DGN, as well as all-way conversion between these supported formats. We've implemented a new smoothing algorithm for conversion of D sub D mesh to smooth DB surface with colors and materials. This algorithm reconstructs the NURB surface using mesh data. This functionality allows to convert a mesh to a non-faceted surface. We've implemented imprint functionality to create additional edges within faces of DB solid surface origin. It takes a second object, curve, solid, or surface, and imprints intersections of two objects onto the first body. This functionality can be used to split a face into several parts, for example, for visual properties. The trace feature provides integration of markups to DWG. Markups are represented as a separate section in the DWG file and can be modified independently from the main drawings part. ODA uses a similar approach for the universal markup engine supported as part of Visualize SDK and available for all ODA products. We added support for DWG-specific functionality with trace view and trace edit commands in drawings SDK. Trace edit allows editing of markup geometry place it on the virtual tracing sheet. Trace view allows editing of the main drawings part while dimming the markup geometry. Now we are working a deeper integration of the common ODA markup engine and DWG trace feature.